Welcome to What's Now. I'm your host, Christine Napier. This is a show where we talk about what's trending and find out what people are actually talking about. Up first, we are going to focus on the TV show Catfish. This is all about the pitfalls and benefits of online dating, especially during a pandemic. Let's take a look. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Cami Crawford. She is co-host of Catfish, the TV show, which explores some of the pitfalls and interesting situations that come with online dating. Cami, thanks for talking with us at Parkway Television. Of course. Hi. <laughs> so what an interesting show. This is its new season and it's all virtual, correct? Yeah, everything is through your computer screen. And, you know, we have a few cameras around, but we have to set those up, obviously. But everything is through the computer and it's so unique and amazing. So tell me a little bit more about the premise of the show. So Catfish has been around since 2010 with the documentary that Neve and his brother and his best friend put together. Um, it went to Sundance. It did amazing. I, you know, am, have been a fan of the show and the documentary since the documentary came out. Um, but then, you know, obviously MTV decided to take on the concept and um, create a full show about it. So basically what we do is we help people who are looking for love on the internet and maybe they've been talking to someone for, it could be a week, it could be a month, it could be 10 years, it really just depends. And you know, maybe they think that there's something going on that it just isn't clicking, something's not right. And you know, pieces of the story are missing. Um, the person can't FaceTime or video chat, the person, you know, won't meet up and they'll say they'll meet up, but then they don't actually come or they need money for something and weird things keep happening. And it's just a lot of red flags typically. Um, but what we try to do is track down the person that they're talking to and see if we can get them to meet for the first time. Um, in this scenario with the pandemic, we've been trying to get them to meet on video chat for the first time, which is also unique because, you know, that's pretty much what the person that they've been talking to has been trying to get them to do for who knows how long. So, you know, we're trying to make the impossible possible, basically. <laughs> it sounds like such a interesting and really just fascinating show. With this pandemic, is online dating on the rise? And with that, are there more problems that are coming due to online dating? I think online dating is definitely on the rise, but I think that it's for good, mostly. Um, there's a lot of, you know, dating apps that are now going virtual and you're able to have a virtual date with someone through, you know, your phone screen, which I think is so cool and innovative and awesome. Um, but then you have people who, you know, have a lot of time on their hands. So they're taking things to another level by using fake photos or, you know, making up their own realities. Because if you think about it, it's kind of what people are doing via social media anyways. You kind of give people um, the version of you that you want them to see. So it's the same thing, you know, with online dating, you just have to kind of try to weed out, you know, what's really going on and ask the right questions. And without spoiling anything, do you have a favorite moment from this season that you can share with us? Oh, there's, there's a few. I mean, every episode just keeps getting crazier and crazier and we're not done filming yet. We still have a few more episodes to go. Um, but let me think what's the craziest one. I mean, there's, there's quite a bit of a scandalous episode. I don't want to give too much away, but, um, <clears throat> there's a marriage, there's some infidelity, there's some possible double infidelity. There's, some, there's, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's really, really <laughs> nuts. But it somehow, you know, these these episodes, you think that some people learn from these things and some people don't. You know, we've had returning catfish before that could come back again. You just never know what's going to happen on this show. <laughs> well, I am intrigued. How can we find more information and how can we tune in? Well, Catfish airs every Wednesday at 8 Eastern Time and 7 Central. Um, on MTV, of course. And, you know, you can always follow Neve and I on social media to see what we're up to and, you know, how we're how we're staying safe at home, but how we're also getting to the work and tracking down these catfish. Well, Cammie, thanks so much for talking with us today. Can't wait to tune in. Thank you so much.